Hi, Polydor Way here. Today I'm gonna show you my organization when I create a substance material. I have some color code for every step. So let's see which color I use to organize my graph. So I always start my substance graph creating the base shape for the height map. So I use this light blue to indicate my base shape for the height map. After I create this base for my height map, I start to break the shapes, add the tails. So every effect that I add to my base shape, I use this dark blue for my height effect. Then for every height effect that I add to my main shape, I use a blend mode to add this effect and then I indicate all my blends with this red color that I call blend line. After I finish my height map, I start to create my color map. So for every base color that I need to create, I indicate with this dark pink and then for every color variation, every, every color effect that I add to my base color, I indicate with this light pink and then again every effect that I will add to my base color, I will create a blend and all my blends will be inside a blend line with this head color. For every mask that I need, I will indicate with this green box. And finally, for my roughness map, I will, will indicate with this orange box. In this latest version of Substance Design, they created an upgrade for the dot node that is indicated with this gray circle. Now, every dot has a property where we can name it and the second property, we can link a dot node with another dot node. So when two dots are connected, they will have the name of the connection and this semicircle kind of icon. So when we selected any of these dots, they will create this segmented line to indicate that these two nodes are connected. So to show you how I use these colored boxes inside my substance material and this new fixture of the Substance Designer. I will open my latest material. Link is in the description. It is a uh, stylized sand material. So here I have my base shape for the height map. So I use a light blue box. Every effect that I insert in my height map, I create the effect, use this dark blue box, and I use the blend to combine with my base shape. So every blend mode that I use to insert an uh, effect, is inside this red box. For every mask that I need to create for my graph, I use to indicate a green box. So depending on the material, I need to create a lot of masks, others not so much. And for the color map, I use the dark pink box to indicate my base color that I start my color map and for every color effect 
I indicate with this light pink box. And I use a blend node to combine with my base color and every blend node that has this function to combine a effect are inside a red box. And finally, the roughness map is inside the orange box. And with this new feature of the dot node, now some lines don't cross with another lines. So here, for example, I have a dot. I name it with simple and shape, for example. And this dot is connected to this one. So the second input has the name of the dot that I need to connect with. So with this new feature, our substance graph is much cleaner, very easy to understand and read. So it's very important to comment, to create some color labels where we can easily identify every step of your substance graph. I hope you like this kind of video. If you like this kind of content, leave a comment and let me know so I can create some more. Thank you so much and have a nice day.